Hello guys, Kaja14 here. These are gonna be the when today I'm gonna open up the Ono 99 reprint and the Buzz Lightyear Uno cards. So let's so first of all let's take a look at the Ono 99. So this is basic basically this is the reprint of the old Ono 99 cards from the 1970 from 1970 from the late 1970s and recently in the year 2021 they decide Mattel has decided to reprint the new Ono 99 again so what this game the, the objective is to make sure you play a card without exceeding a total of night above 99 don't so on the front of the box we got Ono 99 we have the reverse card, one, oh no, ninety nine, and negative ten card. Two to six players and ages seven and up. Oh no, ninety nine on this one side. The other top it says empowering the next generation through pay, which is the same symbol as what you see on the Uno All Wild. In spirit, earliest future generations part led you, made in China. On the bottom, it shows you the paper box with a recycling logo and the back it says oh no 99 card game don't play a card that pushes the total to 99 or above last player left wins and then it shows you all the special cards so we have the example example the card says is five then if you want to play a 10 you must announce that it's five plus 10 then you announce 15 with the contents and the 2021 Mattel. There's 112 cards and one instruction guide. We've got play 2, reverse, minus 10, and oh no, 99. Let's take the cards out. As you can see, as you can see by the new as you can see by the new cards, the way they the way they wrap the new cards is that they use some paper like this, just like the Uno or Wow. That's the reason being they want to go eco-friendly without having without a use of plastic cellophane so yeah so this is the instruction guide i'll let you pause to read as the video is going to be long enough So let's take a look. So let's open the pack. Let's, let's take out the packaging of these cards. This and they base and this is how the back of the Ono ninety nine cards look like. So let's start with. So let's start with this deck. So all the so most of the number cards are yellow. Let's let's begin. So we've got zeros. We've got one zero. We've got two, three, six ones, six twos, four threes, and we've got got eight of the zeros. And you see, and this card. Is what this does. What this card does is that you, and you see the red card. What this, what is this? Is a, there's a, is that it forces the next player in sequence to play two cards on a turn. Play one card, call the new total. Draw a card, then play a second card. You may also respond to play two card by re playing a reverse card, and you may also end forcing it back to another player or play your own play two card. Pass it along to the next player. You only have to play two cards as play twos don't stack. It is possible for a player to end up being passed around and reversed multiple times before finally hitting one player, unlucky player. If you are hit with a play 2 and you are able to play one card but then are unable to successfully play the second card, you are of the game. We've got 10 of these cards. Oh, and we've got 2 more of the number 3 cards. So that means you get a total of six of the trees. And you get and you get six of six of each of the number four cards. And what the and and these are the and you probably recognize this symbol. 
And what is it? You guessed it. Reverse chord. Changes the direction of play clockwise to counterclockwise and vice versa. In a two-player game, it has the same effect as discarding a zero. And you also got more of the five chords here. And let and there seems to be six of each of the same number chords. Six. 8, 9, 10. Well, there's a lot of 10. And, and we have a negative 10. Please take note that two, is, two of these chords are different. The yellow 10 adds 10 points, and the blue 10 minus 10 points. Then what it does is it subtracts 10 from the power total. Negative totals are not allowed. That means if, you, if the total points is 5, you cannot play a negative 10 and make it negative 5. It's impossible. Oh, and we've got black color Ono oh 99 cards. What this card does is that the bad news is you're dealt or drawn an Ono oh 99 card, you must keep it and you may not play it. However, the good news is if you collect four Ono oh 99 cards, you may discard all of them at once, adding nothing to the power total and draw four new cards. Oh, pro probably that's why they call it Ono oh 99. And right. That's it for how the new cards look like. This is what the back of the cards look like. Oh no, 99 symbol. And they, and they look cool. In, and they look cool. Alright, that's it for the reprint of the Oh no, 99 cards. Let's take a look at the bus, at the bus Lightyear cards. For Infinite. Nitty and beyond. To infinity and beyond. This is the the, the Uno Bus Lightyear cards. So the, the cards so on the front, so as you all know, Uno the 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 Bus Lightyear show has been rated NC sixteen, which I do not understand why. And we've got, and it shows you all the first four cards where the one is a bus like here, and then the four looks like cute kitty, which I don't I'm, I do not know what are, who are all these characters because I'm not because this because the movie is a sixteen years plus, but the but the good news is the Uno cards are not, they're two to ten players ages seven and up, includes a special rule, bus like here card game. Lightyear on one side and the other. Top it still has the same empowering the gener next generation through play. The bottom shows you the UK shows you all the copyright info right here. On the back it says use the special hyperspeed rule to help accomplish the star command mission. And don't forget to yell Uno before the mission is com accomplished. And you still got the same contents inside. FS and FSC certified paper. Interesting. Taking the cards out, you'll notice that the cards all have a black border. Same instruction guide. I'm still gonna let you pause to read for yourself as the video is going to be long enough. So let's take a so let's take a look at the cards. Same packaging as the same same way of wrapping the cards, just like Uno all wild. Just like that, safe, go eco friendly. Cut down on plastic usage. And this how the and this how the back design of the Uno cards look like. It's got black borders. Because they needed to fit the team, fit the dark team of the galaxy. Oh, and they also changed some colors. Instead of the usual red, yellow, blue, and green, we've got light. We've got 
Cy we've got almost like a cyan or a turquoise. Then it goes to purple, then orange, then a lime green. So let me go through. So let me just let me just go through the colors. Let me just go through the cards. So so we have the orange one. Number one, we've got Buzz Lightyear. I only know number one is Buzz Lightyear. But I haven't gotten to know the rest of the characters yet. Oh, number six looks familiar. I recognize the Zerg's face. That's because I watch Toy Story. Oh, nice robot. Number eight looks like spaceship. Number nine looks like looks like someone was wear is wearing a Buzz Lightyear suit. Oh, and a reverse card. That probably looks like Buzz Lightyear, but not in the suit. And it's got a very nice, cute little kitty. Draw two. It looks like a scorpion. And Skip kind of looks like a probably a starship, I guess. And it goes the same thing as the green as well. Oh, and a nice different theme background as well. We've got the wild card. Wild card shows wild card. I can see Buzz in the center, but I'm not sure who are the rest of the characters though. Then we got two of the wild draw force, and whoa, that looks like Buzz Lightyear and Zerg. And there it is. And there's the special card. It's called the Wild Hyper Speed card. So what it does is that you choose a color that continue play. Then every time that color is played, the next player in order is skipped. That continues on until someone plays a new color. For example, in a four-player game, player one lays down a hyper skip beat card and choose blue. When player two plays a blue card, player three skipped and now it's player first turn. When player four plays a blue card, player one is skipped and now it's player two's turn. Player two matches the number of this card part of the card with a different color and now your speed is over and normal play resumes. Wow, that's a very awesome card. And at the end of the game, the hyper speed card is worth 50 points, just like Wilds and Draw Force. Moving on, we've got the same thing as for the purple and the blue. Buzz, Buzz on a 1. And still the same thing as well. Zerg on a 6. I'm not sure who are the rest of the characters because... Because I'm... I haven't meet, met the MC NC16 requirements. It's quite sad. It's quite sad that the movie itself has been rated NC sixteen, but the but the good news is, the Uno cards are not. The Uno cards are for ages seven and up. All right, all right, and that should be it, and that should be it for the opening of the Uno cards. And they just made last year. So that's it. So that's it really. If you so that's it really and that concludes the end of the opening of the Uno Light here and the O oh No 99. If you like this video if you like this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe thank you and have a nice day